Hi there! You're invited to listen to an exclusive excerpt from the next episode that I'll be publishing on Sunday. My next guest is absolutely fascinating and this is just a teaser of what you can expect from our discussion. Enjoy listening and I'll see you on Sunday for the full episode. Welcome to FinScale, a podcast created by Solène Niederkorn, shedding light on innovation in finance, banking, and insurance. Navigating financial innovation with Simon Tenner and Spotlight on Sardine's Achievements. Simon Tenner, Head of Strategy and Content at Sardine. Sardine, sort of halfway between the two, we are one API, but we're much more opinionated. We feel like one product. We go much deeper into some of the largest partners in the world. So we have a partnership with Alseg Refinitiv. We have a partnership with Experian. We have a partnership with Visa. We have partnerships with some of the largest data providers in the world. Uh, Early warning services in the United States is one of the largest consortia. Incredibly difficult for people to get access to um, from a compliance standpoint if you're in fintech. But Sardine has that, and we've built a deep, deep integration with it. So our growth is about collecting more data, building out the product, pushing further into generative AI, and servicing the demand we have from. This week, I invite you to explore a multitude of topics with my guest, the unmissable Simon Taylor. He generously shares insight on the future of the financial industry and emerging fintech categories like embedded finance, which he believes are true game changers for the finance world. We also discuss his journey from his years in banking to founding 11FS. What intrigued me the most during our discussion is Sardine, the reg tech where he leads strategy and content. It's evident that the team excels in AI and fraud-related areas. Additionally, you'll discover their cutting-edge solution designed to truly solve pain points for players across the entire industry. It's worth noting that the likes of Refinitiv are already working with them. We also delve into their ambitions, recent fundraising efforts, and explore practical use cases. Enjoy the show! Hello, everyone. Hello, Simon. Hello, thank you so much for having me. Yeah, I'm really, really happy to have you on my podcast and I would like to thank you immensely for your availability. I've had in mind uh, to invite you to FinScale for quite some time and it was fortunate that I I met you at Money 2020. And um, yeah, thank you again for accepting my invitation. Simon, I guess many people know you uh, in the audience, but uh, can you please remind us who you are, what you do and yeah, uh, your story a little bit. Yeah, sure. So hello, everybody. Uh, Simon Taylor. Um, I have been in financial services for about 15 years. I've uh, worked at TSIS, the payments processor. So I have a payments background in a variety of roles. Uh, I was at Barclays, where I did a lot of work around payments change and mobile delivery, lots of hands-on experience in banking. I was then on the founding team of Barclays Rise, Uh, which is its partnership initially with Techstars and how it works with startups. Uh, Then was head of crypto R&D at Barclays before leaving to co-found a little company called uh, 11FS. Uh, Listeners may be familiar with the FinTech Insider podcast and was there for six years. Over the last 12, 18 months, I've been working for a company called Sardine, Uh, Sardine is the world's best fraud team that you hire as an API. And so we're excited to work with some amazing companies to stop scams. I also run a blog called FinTech Brain Food, uh, where I cover my thoughts of the industry uh, just in a full on uh, unfiltered way. So uh, excited to be here and excited to share more with the audience. Yeah, great. I love uh, Brain Food. I, it's, you publish every Sunday. Correct. Yeah. yeah. So invite all the auditor to uh, subscribe. Yeah, fintechbrainfood.com if you want to check it out. Thank Perfect. you, everybody. <laughs> I'll add uh, the link on my newsletter. Um, okay, just a few words because I wanted to concentrate with you on sardines par- more particularly, but I think it, it would be interesting and in, in, uh, for the audience that um, you take just five minutes to go back to your 11FS experience and explain to us why you launched it and what inspired you and what inspired the creation of 11FS in the first place. 
Yeah, so it was actually a conversation I had with the CEO, David Breer, who uh, called me one day um, and he asked me a very simple question, which was, have you heard of challenger banks? I said, yes, of course I've heard of challenger banks. He said, what about challenger consultancies? I said, oh, what's that? They said, I don't fully know. Uh, do you want to come help me figure it out? Oh, and by the way, you should meet this guy called Jason. And I said, who's Jason? And he said, well, Jason uh, was one of the co-founders of both Starling and Monzo, and he has uh, an appetite for building lots of new digital banks and products. And so we think 11FS could be the vehicle to build lots of new digital apps and products. So simply put, in our early days at 11FS, the goal was to build digital banks. But we knew in order to do that, we were going to have to punch massively above our weight because who was going to be wanting that work was every other big consultancy. And every other big consultancy and strategy house in the world had all of the consultants in all of the banks. They had hundreds of thousands of employees. So we needed a way to get attention. And one of the ways of doing that was by launching a podcast. Mm. So the podcast was called Fintech Insider. And I think it was a couple of conversations that we had. I think David had one in the back of a car uh, with uh, a guy from DBS whose name escapes me, Neil. It was Neil from DBS mm -hmm. at the time. And then we had another conversation uh, with the guys, uh, with Marco Wenthin and a few of the guys from the early days of Solaris in a pub in London. And the conversations were so good. <laughs> they were so good that we thought, we should record this. We should just take this and put a microphone here. And I think people would listen to it. Now that you've heard an excerpt from the upcoming episode on Sunday, make sure you stay tuned and connected so you don't miss a beat. Thank you.